Today, political history and legal history is being made as a jury is selected in the first criminal trial of a former president of the United States. This is the first time this has ever happened. And making this even more unprecedented, Donald Trump is a former president who is also currently running, of course, to return to the White House for a second term. Trump charged with trying to illegally cover up alleged affairs, including with an adult film star. This is something he strongly denies, in particular, denies breaking any laws. Robert Costa is following it outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Bob, I saw the satellite trucks yesterday lined up all in a row. Good morning. Everybody's here, Tony. Good morning. The Trump legal team has worked for months to delay the start of this trial, but it begins today with hundreds of potential jurors being considered. And former President Trump tells us he will be watching this process very closely. And for him, it's significant, also historic. The first time a former president has ever faced a criminal trial, a trial that could have real political consequences. I've been indicted more than Al Capone. A rally cry on the campaign trail, now a courtroom reality, as President Trump today becomes the first former president to stand trial in a criminal case. When I walk into that courtroom, I know I will have the love of 200 million Americans behind me. Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records, accused of scheming to funnel payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels, through former lawyer Michael Cohen. Prosecutors say it was an attempt to stop an alleged past affair from becoming a scandal just before the 2016 presidential election. 34 false statements and business records that were concealing criminal conduct. Trump has pleaded not guilty on all counts. And today, prosecutors and Trump's legal team will begin the complicated process of interviewing and eliminating more than 500 potential jurors. The lengthy juror questionnaire poses 42 questions, including if they've ever attended a Trump rally or if they follow the former president on social media. This is a lengthy process. I do not expect it to take a couple of days. I frankly expect it to take a couple of weeks. Trump's team is expected to use jury selection to argue he can get a fair trial in Manhattan. And sources say they will likely push to move the case elsewhere. On Friday, I questioned Trump at Mar-a-Lago. And what are you watching as jury selection begins in New York? You know, jury selection is largely luck. It depends who you get. It's very unfair that I'm having a trial there. Former President Trump will be expected to be here in court every day for a trial that could last more than six weeks. And here outside the court this morning, security is already tight. The streets full of police officers, Secret Service personnel, and, of course, reporters. Vlad. Bob, thanks very much.